Hello, um, this is, uh, well, trying to be a quick tutorial anyway, a quick tutorial on how to um, export um, any material or textures that you create within Cinema 4D um, over into Unity. Um, had a lot of questions on this, so I thought um, I would do a quick video on it and show you how to do it properly and kind of explain the science behind it as well. So what we're going to do is something really, really quick and um, let's create, oh, let's say, here we go, like a, let's say a plank of wood or something like that. Let's really dodgily put this together. So I'm just going to quickly put something together here. There we go. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do is let's add a texture to this. So create material. Double click onto this. Under color. Let's look at some surfaces. Wood. Let's click onto that. That looks quite nice. Lovely. So let's drag this onto here. Let's change. That looks a bit odd, even if we. Yeah, don't think too bad. Let's change our UV, UV mapping to cubic. And uh, do, do, do. yeah, that looks okay. And what we can do is change that looks fine as a plank of wood. Even though we can probably um, see what this looks like. Just now, nah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It'll be fine. Okay, so we've got our kind of plank of wood or block of wood or whatever you want to call it here and we need to export this um, out as a material for um, any games so this can be for Unreal or Unity we're doing for Unity at the moment because um, that's what we use so what we're going to do is click on our cube here and first of all we're going to make it editable as you know you just either click this button over here or click C or you can right click and go to make editable then what we're going to do is we need to, at the moment, this material on our plank of wood when we render is being rendered by Cinema 4D and this material down here. What we need to do is, obviously when we export that over, if I then export this out as an FBX, what will happen is that the materials won't go with it because obviously um, Cinema 4D is powering that texture upon our object here so what we need to do is essentially create this map finish here as an image for that's going to uh, for our cube or our plank of wood if you want to call it that um, and create it as a JPEG TIFF or whatever you want so what we're going to do is something a process called baking so all I'm going to do is right click on our cube or plank of wood and go down to uh, do 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 do. It's not there. So we click on cube. Go to objects. There it is. And we go to bake object. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do for now is keep normals, keep singles, because this is just quite a quick um, tutorial. We uh, are just going to have these settings. Obviously, if you have um, height, uh, other normal maps, reflectance. Ambient occlusions, um, roughness textures, you're going to want to just check all of those and the baking process will take quite a long time. This should take no more than a couple of seconds when we do this. And what we're going to do is click bake. Lovely, there we go. Uh, so we click off this and as we can see, um, this layer has been turned off and cube point one has now been turned on because we have now created that as a flat image. So what we're going to do is don't even need this backspace to kill that and with cube one, I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX. Let's put some desktop and let's just call this Plank, or not per Plank, Plank. There we go. So let's click Save. Um, so what's really important here about an FBX um, export is essentially animation in general. Don't need to worry about those at all. What's really important is um, geometry and any kind of additional, because there we can see it says um, textures and materials there, and also substances, which we're going to do is, um, let's leave that one, and click OK. There we go, exports so quick. So what we're going to do in Unity, 
Um, I would prefer if um, people, when you come and export things across into um, Unity, best off, right click, go to import new asset, because that's the proper way. You can drag in, but sometimes this just doesn't work, and maybe because I'm using an experimental version of Unity, um, but let's just do it this way. So right click, import new asset, uh, plank FBX import. Okay, so if I drag my plank here, at the moment we can see, oh no, no texture, not good. This isn't what we paid for kind of thing. So um, how do we get this material? So what we need to do, click on our plank, make sure we are on import legacy. That's fine. Uh, yep, and then we're gonna make sure our location is changed to use external materials brackets legacy. Click apply. Cool, lovely. So this should eventually extract some materials for us. Sometimes it takes a bit of time, sometimes it takes no longer than a couple of seconds. Do 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 There we go. So um, only taking a couple of seconds and we can see that uh, we've got this plank texture up. There we go. We can simply drag that onto there. And there we go. There's our plank texture. We can also click onto here. Go into our normals because it's taken a normal across anyway. Even though there isn't actually a normal in it. We've just said take it across and we can put it across but it doesn't change anything. Oh no, that's horrible. Oh actually it says texture is not marked as a normal map. Fix now. That still hasn't really improved anything. So what we're going to do is probably just non, and that's our texture. Lovely. So there you go. Know how to do it. So it's all about baking the objects from Cinema 4D to uh, Unity, and everything will work out just fine. Um, obviously, you have to wait maybe just a couple of seconds for that material to pop through, but it does eventually work. Okay, cool. Thanks. See you later. Bye.